Yo, hi everybody and welcome to this rock polar tutorial. See, today's color is blue because me and my guitar are pretty depressed and... Um, so this is the color of the day, you know, actually because um, yeah, it's a nice color and fits to the song. Um, rock ballad. Uh, rock ballad. Um, we're going to work with open string stuff. And I, I think this tutorial, we're going to take more than one video, like two or th even three episodes. First, uh, and today we're going to work out the rhythm guitar on first parts of the soloing. I'm going to show you how this thing sounds. Yeah, something like this. <laughs> uh, actually, this was the last lesson which I play now. <laughs> of course, uh, we have to start off with the basics. And the basics is first the rhythm guitar and later on easy soloing. Because if you're not uh, able to manage the easy soloing, um, then you're not really able to manage the harder soloing. And even uh, when I play um, rock ballad, is for me still the the highest level of uh, electric guitar playing. Uh, I actually, I really enjoy it most. That's why one of the reasons why I, I personally learned electric guitar. By the way, at the age of 20, nobody would believe me that. But at, at that time, I was a professional piano player. <laughs> and I just love this kind of music, especially this kind of music. And I just wanted to play like this. And um, it's still very demanding. So let's start from the very beginning. Don't be too, um, how you say, um, disencouraged. So, um, because I'm going to show you some very easy stuff that you already can get into this world of rock ballad. You don't need to play the really wild stuff. And we start with the rhythm guitar today. Um, and as I said, I think this tutorial is going to take more than one episode, maybe two, three, or even four. If you want to really take it to the maximum, and depending on the feedbacks, we can really can go deep into the Olymp of guitar playing. Yo, so let's start with the first rhythm guitar. Okay, the first rhythm guitar, the, ba the main rhythm guitar, is an open string uh, pattern. Uh, it's very easy to play, actually. It's played in eights. And... Um, we're playing in the open string A minor. And just then um, the, the upper two strings are open strings. So we should just play one and two and three and four and and just resolves itself very easy. Then we move up two frets. Same chord, just move up. Then we move up in the 7th, and this one is in the 9th. This comes twice. Very easy stuff. Can you imagine now I'm sitting here, I'll show you the entire thing here. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, but it still works because it's easy stuff. Then it switches to D minor, and we just play the D Sus9 chord here, third fret, second fret, and now the picking pattern is a little bit different because the root note is now on the D string, so we. So this is now the picking pattern. We start here, so one and two. Check out my picking hand. One and two and three and four and. 
that's the whole thing. And then we move up the, the chord up to the fifth. Sounds great. It's Let me go back to A minor, to the other picking pattern, and so on. Then we ended up with a special F chord. First fret here, third fret, A string we don't play, and then we play one and two and three and four and and to G, same thing. Just move it up in the third. And then we ended up in and go down to E at the end. Whoa, I got an email. Did you hear that? So I'm going to play the whole thing for you now. One, two, three, four. That was the first rhythm guitar. Um, well, I just created the, ta the this track, so <laughs> uh, I, sometimes I didn't really always play the pattern regularly, but that's not so bad. The very um, essential point is that you play a very exact eight notes, a one da ka da da ka, like a, like a little machine, and then yeah, you have a clean um, guitar sound. The delay setting is on the quarter note. Can you hear this here? And it's set on 80 BPM. And this way you create this very large. You could even add some chorus effect on this one here. But uh, yeah. So the rhythm guitar number two. I'm going to play that one first. Now we switch on a crunch guitar. And if you have a, a guitar where you can um, <coughs> have a single coil here on this on this pickup, I have it on the second position, single coil. Yeah. Then um, you have the right sound for this. It's a little bit crunchy. See, but you still hear the chords. So I'm first going to play it and then show it. Nearly ne the same thing, but a little bit different. Two, three. thing. That one is a little bit more demanding. Again we have uh, the delay, the crunchy setting like gain level in 5. Uh, and the best way would be, uh, be on the, as I said, on single coil 
on the next single coil and play it with a pick. So it's we play A minor. See? Hammer on pull off here with the index. First chord, second chord. We are in the seventh fret on the D and G string. Then seven nine. And here you can play this a little bit funky, a little bit funky stuff, but first you have this really. And the very cool is on, on these chords here you can add some vibrato. Yeah, I'll show you now the right hand a little bit. All up strokes. Uh, down strokes. And so on. Now when it goes to D, we have the same chords as before, but now we just we just go with the pick through the strings. And just let it ring. See, it sounds great. And when you go higher, you can also add this this little in between. I mean, it's open, so it's really strict. Just a few ideas how you can really create t tension. So, and end it up with the chord here, ten. Very nice chord here. Yo, yeah, well then we go back. And then comes the cool part, which I personally love a little bit, comes from flamenco. <laughs> you play an F bar, but you release the bar, so the I, high B and E string are open. And when you don't have the gain level too high, the only crunch level, you get this crispy, cracky sound. Then move this one up. This will be the normal body, but with the released high two strings. Sounds great. Then we come to the basic pattern. And then it up with the Jimi Hendrix chord E7 sharp 9. And that's rhythm guitar number two. Yo, that was the rhythm guitar number two. So now comes what all you were waiting for, but ho 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 ho. No, you first have to learn the rhythm guitar, as because, because before you can, uh, you want to fly, you need to learn how to walk. <laughs> so rhythm guitar, high gain setting. A lot of delay here. Seven repeats actually between seven and eight repeats. Set it on the on the eighty BPM. And now here, um, so what are we gonna play here? Uh, you can go on this. I don't know how you call this pickup here. Actually, you set it on this pickup. <laughs> 
So, as, and as I said, before, before you want to fly, you need to learn to walk. So now we learn to walk. <laughs> um, on the, um, I'll switch off the delay quickly. Um, the main scale which we're using, uh, you can play pen A minor pentatonics on this one, but that's not enough because if you want to play melodic, you need to play the, the scale. So this is the, the scale in the root position. <laughs> So, you can play here. And <coughs> for the very basics, learn to first have a nice tone. Nice tone means you have a nice vibrato on the scale. See? And that's it really the basic stuff. If you don't have a nice melodic tone, everything else uh, doesn't make any sense. So before before you want to go into more faster playing, just try to play this and first without any effects. <coughs> See, no effect. I'm a little bit of reverb, but um, I cannot switch it off now. <laughs> so, um, but even you can um, you can um, practice this without even reverb. And I had a guitar teacher who gave me that lesson. If you want to have a nice tone, uh, really take the worst sound settings you have without any effects and try to make a nice tone only with your fingers in this scale with the vibrato. Each note you're playing has to have a nice vibrato. Also the bendings. Bend, bendings with vibrato, half tone bending, it's not so easy as it looks and that can, believe me even I playing so long guitar I'm still afraid of the bendings in a rock ballad because if you don't get it you really fuck it up. <laughs> Half tone bending, half tone bending. And then you try with the track. That was totally without any delay. And if you can really do it nicely and really let the tone sing and get your technique so far that you don't make too much noise between the notes because you have the noise between the notes. You have to use it. Now when, it comes when you air the delay, that much delay, the ending of the note is essential as well. See, and then you give this extra kick on the beat of the duck. This is the beat of the song, then do duck, and then you start to sound nice. Basically, what uh, what we are learning now, just playing melodic, and now comes the worst the worst part when you know other positions like high positions. I take the same position high now, 
this is in the mood, oh God. I don't play often here, <laughs> especially in front of the camera because I have a terrible position here to play. Up here is a little bit special, but I try to show you how it works. Up here, it's a different. Uh, you need different pressure for the for the notes. So you also have to practice in different positions. I play in the same position as below, and then other positions that you see. But it's basically only playing melodic phrases. I go in another position. Yeah. <laughs> and so on, my goodness. Where is this remote control? I go down with the elevator now and hoppala, here I'm back. <laughs> Yeah, so as I said at the beginning, um, this lesson is going to be take more than one video and I think maybe three, at least at least two, but I think maybe three or four episodes, depending how far we want to go. Let me know what you think. Um, <coughs> and also, as I said, uh, maybe the soloing part was a bit disappointing for you now on this lesson, but really um, I cannot... Um, outline how important this part of the playing is specific on ballads but actually on any kind of playing if you cannot walk you cannot fly <laughs> uh, or, or let's say if you cannot walk you cannot run uh, maybe maybe this is more clear um, and when you cannot run you cannot lift off for flying <laughs> that's what i mean um, because this is really the basic stuff and if you don't have a nice tone why why should you play fast because then you play even more notes which doesn't sound nice and this is a lot of students forget this they will always want to play fast want to play wild um, and i for myself i always have to pull me back down and say okay play it easy and when i make recordings mostly um I just notice um, when I play few notes, but play them very nicely and with a really controlled tone with slides, bendings and this vibrator stuff. It sounds much more better than when I just go. <laughs> so um, really take my advice if you think, who is this guy telling me this? I want to play fast. Then I tell you, I know it because I tried it. <laughs> yeah. Well, enjoy this one here and we see us uh, for the, I uh, make at least one additional episode, going to get more into advanced soloing, playing one string stuff like this. <laughs> also adding wah wah mit dem. Also playing the legato stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of things to do. We, are, we don't really have time for all this. Maybe we can work all three in five or six years <laughs> if you're still um, online then. Yeah, enjoy it and we see us next time. Bye.